guys, how's it going? Today's project is gonna be fun. So I'm jumping on a trend that I've been seeing people do for quite a while, mostly on Instagram. The hashtag is called Sucky Pot in a Pot, and it's essentially creating a succulent arrangement inside another pot. So you've got like your larger container and then you sink a smaller one down inside, like on its side, and then you create your arrangement right above it. And if you look up that hashtag on Instagram, you'll see a bunch of beautiful creations. And I don't know, honestly, what took me so long putting one of these together. I'm gonna probably, like this will spark something and I'll probably wanna do a whole bunch of them. Um, but it's just kind of inspiring to see something so different and out of the box that I thought it'd be fun to try. Also, I found this really cute pot the other day at the craft store that says let love grow and I thought that this could kind of be my ode to Valentine's Day. I don't do a ton in terms of like Valentine's Day decorating so I thought that this would be a really good opportunity. So let me go over the supplies I'm going to use for this project. I have my larger pot right here. Uh, it has a drain hole and then I have my smaller pot. I've got my cactus mix right here. I brought out a couple bags because I think I'm going to be using all of that. And then I've got a whole bunch of succulents. So this whole tray right here just came in from Leaf and Clay. We, in fact, we did an unboxing video and showed all of these coming out of the box. Beautiful colors, lots of pink, which is perfect for this project. And then when I'm all done with my arrangement, I'll be top dressing with stones. Now I do have a table to my right over here where I've got other succulents from inside my house, like um, some other filler types that aren't like all rosettes. And I also brought out some black stones because I'm not sure if I want like really highly contrasted black and white or if I want something a little more muted like these stones right here. So I think what we're gonna do, as kind of like what we normally do, is I'm just gonna attack this project, tackle it, we'll show you it come together kind of in fast motion, and then I'll explain everything in the end. done and I think it turned out really pretty. So I'm thinking that from your vantage point, it probably doesn't look like much, but from the way I'm looking at it and from straight down, I think it probably shows it off the best. The best thing I think about this type of, a, of an arrangement is that it looks so unique and different, but you can water it the same exact way that you would water any other succulent arrangement that you might have, um, which is great. Uh, the rocks that I chose, I actually kind of labored over that decision because I was like, oh, should I do that contrasty or should I do something a little more warm? But I think it works with this white container to do something that's very offset. I think the brown may have looked a little odd, um, and I do think it makes the plants look really pretty. Uh, I did go with a lot of like bright yellow pops in here. Like this is a Tokyo Sun Sedum that I think really, really pops. There's a Hen and Chicks um, that's called, let me look. It's called Cinnamon Starburst and it's got like just kind of that yellowish hue to it. And so I kind of popped those all the way around. I used String of Pearls as kind of my spiller here, but then I also spilled out of the front side of the pot with um, some Echeveria, um, some Blue Spruce Sedum. Uh, and then I did use a few out of my leaf and clay tray here. I used um, three rosettes right there and then two of the Pearl non von Nurnbergs. But I used, you guys, like a mixture of potted succulents that I kind of just tore apart and cuttings. Um, so I probably will let this sit in the container for about a week before I actually water it in to let all those cuttings, the cut ends, have a chance to heal. But after that, I'll water it normally. And I water, depending on the time of year, like in the summer, I may water it a little more often, but in the Winter time inside, it's probably every 10 to 14 days or so. Couple of tools that I found really, really helpful. Well, I always have like this giant paintbrush. This is a four inch paintbrush that I use to like keep my surface fairly clean. And then I just started using one of these. So I use, 
I stole one of Aaron's uh, lens cap or lens cleaning brushes, which does work really well, but then you still make contact with the surface of the succulent, which for some of the Echeveria's that have that like powder coating on it, it kind of wrecks it a little bit. Not as bad as if you were to use your fingers to try to clean them off. Um, but I started using one of these bulbs. Um, it came in a kit from Gardner Supply. Uh, and it's so nice because you can just blow like the excess soil that's maybe in the center of your succulent or like around this container. I like still can find soil that I can clean off of it. And it works really well just to blow things away without like upsetting anything else in your arrangement. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how this came together for my first try. I think it was fun. I think it would be really, um, really fun to try it with some different colors of stones and pots and just try out some different arrangements. So I kind of have a feeling I'm going to be doing more of these. So I will apologize in advance for the barrage of sucky pot and a pots that you will probably be seeing coming your way. If you guys try it, let me know, like tag me so that I can see what creations you're coming up with. And it doesn't have to be big. It can be really little. I've seen some really cute mini ones done, which is something that I may try too. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.